Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to your daily tarot reading. We will be looking at some cards and pulling out some messages for you. So if you've clicked on this reading, then chances are it's going to be for you. And you are probably right here for a reason. So we'll see what the cards can reveal. Uh, what is the message for you um, that you need to hear? Um, now this can be a timeless reading here as well. So there may be a message here, something you need to be aware of. Uh, in this current energy. Okay, there's a certain situation um, that's coming up here and suddenly you're not feeling very powerful or you're not feeling very confident about this sort of energy. I get that there has been something that has emotionally evoked some sort of pain within you. And I feel like with the hangman, there is some sort of reversal. It's almost like you were waiting for something here, um, waiting to hear from someone, waiting to reconnect, waiting to make some sort of progress. But when something finally did happen, when you did have progress, it was the emperor reversed. So I'm getting that it wasn't what you expected. It might have been a shock to you here. It's definitely evoked some emotional response from you. And I feel like with the judgment card, you judged a situation very differently. Now, maybe you thought someone wouldn't go to some sort of extreme and do something here to you. Maybe you judge them differently and they've completely surprised you. They've completely done something that was out of character. Something that you sort of really hadn't expected, right? And I feel like the Emperor is suddenly like, you are not in control anymore. And something has happened here which has sort of changed how you feel about this situation. So it's created this kind of energy of uncertainty. And I feel like... A lot of this emotional is coming up and uh, emotions are coming up and I feel like you're po possibly judging yourself maybe for something that you said or something that you did. Maybe you feel on some level that you contributed to this person acting the way they did. Maybe you egg them on, maybe you provoke them. It's almost like there's an energy of self-criticism of how you handle that situation and now someone has gone and done XYZ you're not necessarily happy about it. it could be you know devastated because you're not in control you're trying to put on a strong face so you're trying to show that this hasn't sort of affected you too much you know you're, you're sort of coming up as that strength card leo energy so it's the ego here you're trying to be maybe not as affected as you really are but deep down on a more subconscious level with the king of cups you know you're upset you, you may be hurt, you may be pained, you may be confused. And I feel like with the hangman here, it's like this person has potentially jeopardized everything that you've worked towards, everything that you've built up, everything that you guys had together. It's almost like they've come up here and jeopardized that. It might have been an immature act as well. Uh, you've got the sun. So I feel like there may be someone who was a little bit emotionally, emotionally immature or impulsive. The sun can be like this impulsive energy. So they were impulsive in doing something here to you and um, it has really upset you. Um, you know, the judgment can point to karma. So I wonder if this was like karmic. Uh, I wonder if this had to happen because it's a blessing in disguise had to happen to sort of even out the energy you know maybe there's karmic energy around you maybe around this person either way I feel like the fact that it's coming up um I'm, I pick up this energy of it's it was sort of bound to happen or it was only a matter of time but it's almost like this thing happened much sooner than you expected and that's what sort of shocked you it's not sat well with you here because I don't think at the time you knew how to react to this sort of situation. Um, so they've gone and done it, potentially maybe jeopardized something here with you, jeopardized their chances with you, this connection. 
um, you know, and it's a lot to go through with the hangman. And I feel like with the two of wands reversed, no longer is some sort of opportunity available. It's it's being closed off. So you're closing a door. Um, you're closing a door here because of what someone's done to you or in a connection. Um, you're potentially in a very sensitive or delicate stage right now with that Eight of Pentacles. But I'm seeing that major loss here with the Five of Cups. Um, and I feel like maybe a part of you have lost has lost emotions because of this. You've maybe lost feelings for a person. Um, or you feel like it's it may be too late to try and repair things even. Um, it may be too late to fix things from here. It's almost like at this current energy, things feel irreversible. Now, that doesn't mean it's always going to feel this way. It could just be the, the feeling that you're feeling now. Um, some of you may be looking to new connections on new people. It could also be that the person that did this to you had someone new. Okay, maybe they dated someone new, they got with someone new, and you weren't ready for that. You were not in the same kind of energy as them, maybe. Um, but I feel like it's only going to make you stronger with the Queen of Pentacles. I think it's a learning curve maybe for some of you. You might have seen some red flags before. You might have seen the signs and you sort of turned a blind eye to it as we do. They might have been um, a little bit manipulative from the start, but you didn't really suss it out. You didn't really suss out that situation. And now suddenly it's it's all out there and they've exposed it. Um you know, it, it, there's a very strong Piscean energy that's coming up. So I get like you f you're feeling very hot and cold about this situation or you're feeling very much on the fence about a situation. Sometimes you're feeling really good. You're feeling really great. Um, and then other times you're feeling just really down in the pits. So one time, you know, sometimes you're thinking it had to happen. It's not so bad. I'll be okay. And then on the other side of the spectrum, it's like, I'm not going to be okay. This is devastating. This is heartbreaking. Like, how am I going to cope? Um... So just know that those sort of changes in your feelings are normal, normal to experience right now. Um, and you may be around this time feeling that sensitivity. Um, you may be feeling like that emotional sensitivity towards this person, towards this uh, situation, because it's that Piscean link that Piscean energy. There is strong Taurian energy, so I feel like you really love this person. Um, I feel like you saw a future with them. Uh, you could see a future with the Sun card. So you had a lot riding on this connection, and I feel like someone may have disappointed you. You may have disappointed them as well. Either way, it's come up here. It was inevitable, so it was bound to happen, I think, sooner or later. But almost like having it happen this soon you know this will really take you off guard or you know i don't think you were expecting this you weren't prepared for this you might have had some sort of inkling but it wasn't enough and i think reality has really struck um and it's really hit you hard now and it's like okay now what like you're thinking about these next steps what you should do where you should go um let's see what else comes up Okay, I get neglect, six of pentacles, things are maybe one-sided. One person is maybe attaching more to the connection than the other. Um, but I feel like with the high priestess, it can indicate unfinished business or unresolved issues. Um, now, this could be your energy coming up or it could be the energy of your person. Either way, that high priestess is telling us that there's something that's unresolved or there's something still in the future that you'll have to sort of work through, whether it's on your own or whether it's from uh, with this person. It's something that you will need closure on as an individual, I feel. But to see that five and six of pentacles, I feel like the person that's invested more has is the one suffering now, the person that put in thought, and planning and effort and all those things, I feel like that's the person with the short end of the stick. 
you know, maybe you, maybe your person. Um, and you know, it's not an easy thing to go through, um, but it's there, okay? It's, it's, it's there and it exists and it's just something you almost have to go through uh, in this time. It's like you can't avoid it. It's like the big fat elephant in the room. You know, it's like, look at that looming pentacle here. And you're not looking up, so I get like you're not interested in doing or seeing anyone else. Maybe it's almost like you want to cope. Um, you know, maybe you're going to be doing some spiritual stuff. And spiritual stuff may help you right now. Uh, maybe some meditation, um, getting out and about, doing things. It may be your saving grace, but it appears to be more about the mind and more about spirituality more than anything else. Um, that's what I feel is coming up with the High Priestess. And I feel like with the Owl, you guys are sort of maybe keeping an eye out on each other. Um, maybe you still text, maybe you look at each other's social media you still have some contact okay you still have some link something here where you're sort of keeping an eye out on each other maybe you're still keeping an eye out you know you guys are still emailing each other or you drive past their work you drive past their home or you still stop by their house and check in you know there's still some sort of like keeping an eye out on each other and and maybe that's coming from a good place maybe that's just indicating that you guys still care about each other um, and there there may be still feelings here um, you know they may not necessarily be romantic it could just be either two of you connecting and caring about each other um, but either way that has come up so I will leave the reading at that I do hope this has resonated with many of the viewers thank you again everyone so so much for tuning in really does mean a lot don't forget to drop a like if you have enjoyed this video um, and also to subscribe to the channel as well. So thank you so much, everyone, and until next time, bye for now.